Welcome to Tides of Treasure, episode 8, where Boss and I are building an adventure map 100% in survival. There's Boss down there now. Let's go say hi. We're off on an adventure today. Uh, we're going to gather some more materials because we just finished cleaning up the area. Oh, oh gosh. It's really hard to drive a boat backwards. We just finished cleaning up the area. <laughs> Get over <laughs> this here. This is a mess. <laughs> what are we doing today? We're building. We're building a whole bunch of stuff, but we need some more resources. Yeah, so okay, one thing easier. we need. We need um, basalt, right? Yeah, we need basalt. So we're going to the nether, which you, you can see the portal are you good? behind me. Yeah, I'm still in F5. Oh, all right. Uh, yeah, we're going to go to the nether because we need to get basalt for the build because we're going to build some big stuff today and we need some more material for it, right? Yeah. Okay. We're building tons of stuff today. Tons. I'm really excited about it. I think today is going to be like the biggest progress update to our little cove ever. Yes, it's going to be great. And uh, I'm ready to go ahead and get into the nether, even though I'm a little scared. It's going to be good. I'm not going to die this time because you're not going to shoot me in the head with an arrow. You should probably put on some armor. Yeah, yeah. Let me let me go ahead and... Here we go. Ready to go. Parkour. Set your spawn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this boss guy, he took us to the wrong nether portal. So now we got to go all the way back over here to a closer portal to begin with. And I'm pretty upset about it. Oh, my gosh. You said that you weren't going to tell. There it is. Right behind us is Basalt. We made it after going to the wrong portal. We are now here at the correct portal and the correct area getting Basalt. Yeah, we need to mine. I think it was four stacks, roughly, that we need of basalt. So uh, how about we each get two stacks? I'll race you. You want to race? Yeah. Like to the basalt or for my two stacks? Well, I won this race to the basalt, so that's cool. And now we'll race for two stacks. Well, we made it back from the nether, and it's raining. It's always raining. 118, yay! Woo! Okay, okay, so we're back. We're here. We got the basalt. We already put it in the chest. And uh, what we're doing here is, well, we're building some storage buildings because, well, our storage is literally everywhere. We are just sprawled throughout the whole beach. Storage over there. Storage up there. Storage down there. Like, it's literally everywhere. We have floating chests so, everywhere. Let, let me talk a little bit about what we did. So Alex spent a bunch of time grinding materials um, and had a big pile of chests over here. And then I went through and kind of separated those materials that he grinded into these individual chests. So each of these sections of chests counts for a build. So if you count correctly, we're going to build five buildings today. We got five relatively large. Well, some of them are bigger than others, but we got some uh, pretty good sized builds to go here. And we're going to split up our storage amongst these five buildings and... I think maybe we'll get halfway through and talk about what we've done so far. Or we'll just bring everybody back. Perfect. Well, I guess we might as well get started. We're already gathered all the materials and let's get building. Well, three of the five builds have been completed, and you can see that we have the two on the left, which Alex completed uh, in the, about the same time it took me to complete the one on the right. Yeah, I mean, the one on the right is a little more complicated than the ones I built, but, I mean, team effort to get us this far. And it's not we're not done yet. This is a, We're going to stop here for a second because there's one little task that I want to accomplish, but before we talk about that, let's go like show off some of the inside a bit and, and tell them what we got. Yeah, let's just start on the left and we'll work our way down. This first one is going to be a miscellaneous, like, valuable storage. Uh, not too many chests here because obviously we're not going to have a ton of valuables to store, but this is where they will go when we have them. And there is an upstairs with just more storage. Nothing too crazy, but might as well go up and show off the inside of this nice copper roof and uh, more storage, a little bit of lighting, and then we'll do some more detailing with, like, you know, potted plants and flowers and whatnot. At a later date, for now, we're trying to get the bulk of the stuff out of the way. 
Uh, so this one is our stone storage. Um, we are going to add some stuff to this sign here. Uh, but we went with the brick here to, you know, symbolize the stone and, and whatnot. And inside is a bunch of storage and a little anvil, a little cutting wheel. Uh, there's a pot up there for potted plants. I feel like the game's lagging a bit, or maybe I'm like on a weird chunk border thing. You're on a chunk border right there. Ah, uh, that's, yep. Yeah. Okay, so more storage inside, and uh, there's a little bit of storage upstairs as well, and then a nice copper roof on the inside. On the outside, it's not copper, so it's kind of cool to have a little bit of a detail on the inside like that. Yeah, and before we move on, uh, I do want to explain this one real quick. So I did this interior, and it, it'll make sense once I say it, which is why I want to tell you. So it's fairly simple. Stone, cobblestone, the three ites. Oh, diorite, granite, Everything and else. Uh, the other one. And then up top is just bulk storage for the ridiculous amounts of stone that are currently invading all of our storage on the ship. Yeah, so this is the wood storage build, and this one's fairly simple to understand. There's six primary wood types in the overworld. So we got six rows of chests here for all of our wood storage needs. Uh, and then over here, temporarily will be our nether wood storage cubby. Um, we do have plans for other things for the nether wood, but for now, we'll just throw it in here with the other wood. If you go upstairs, it's more for decoration. There's really no extra storage or anything. But you can see the six main wood types kind of in the corner. Uh, and then there's a little like workbench up here. And again, more detail once we come through with item frames and mini blocks and all of that. And one last cool little feature of this building is this crane, which would, you know, take the logs up to the area above, like the loft area. And so, you know, it's a good way to transport items around and get it into the storage, kind of playing along with the, uh, make it more real, more realistic on how wood would get stored inside this building. Yeah. And then the last thing before we move on is... Uh, right here is going to be like a little alleyway. Uh, obviously, once this building gets put in, it will make more sense as an alleyway. But we kind of have like the back door to the wood. But if you come back here, uh, it's not quite complete yet. There's uh, some deep slate here. But Alex made a little dumpster. And uh, we have this actually designed with shulker boxes so that this can actually become like a small little storage unit. A little secret storage area for our, our dangerous and, and underground items. Yeah, and then the last two builds will go here, but we will do those after we get through the candles. Yeah, so what I want to do is, well, we did honey last week, and we didn't actually place any candles, which is why we wanted honey. So I'm going to go ahead and give you some candles and the flint and steel so that... Did it drop? You get yeah. it? Okay, it did, I didn't see it. So Okay, so we got that. We got candles. We got flint and steel. We're going to go around real fast, and we're going to go place a few candles in some places that we wanted to place a long time ago. So let's go ahead and knock that out. All right, now that we've placed some candles, we're going to go ahead and hop into the second part of this build. And uh, I hope you're ready for it, because this thing is going to be really, uh, it's a big build. Uh, it's a big build coming up, so let's go ahead and get to it, boss. Let's get it. And there we have it, folks. We have ourselves two brand new builds to add to our three previous builds. What do you think, boss? I think they're awesome. And that's five storage builds in total, if you've yeah. been counting. Five. It's a pretty big uh, upgrade here for our storage. We finally have a place to put everything. Yeah, let's go uh, show them off a little bit. I'm just going to park here at the seawall. So this is our deep slate build and really for any 117 or 118 blocks as well. So deep slate pri primarily will go down here where it's kind of like a little forge area. Um, and then you can see we got a little uh, scar inspired minecart thing down there because I thought it was such a good idea. Uh, so I kind of just used it as like visual and my two uh, deep slate color, they've been used. They're super rare now. So uh, I wanted to use them down there. And then Alex designed this up here, but this is more for like the calcite, tough, the amethyst, the uh, pointed dripstone, regular dripstone, all of that will be stored up here. Yeah, it makes pretty noises. And, and uh, then my favorite part, go ahead. 
of the whole build is the little pickaxe hanging from the top. Oh yeah, love it. The pickaxe is a great touch. It's beautiful. But you still have a few more details to throw in here and there. There's some empty item frames. We'll, we'll do some stuff with that. But here is our big like warehouse storage area. Now boss designed the interior here and it is massive. It has a lot of chests. Chest on both sides of this. Do you know how many chests total? Uh, I don't. I think it was like 140 something. Yeah, I know it's over 100. I, I definitely really placed them all. I, I realized it was. Here's our little ledger book to keep track of materials and whatnot. I mean, we may not actually do that, but it's cool to have it as a detail. And uh, we have plenty of storage here. Maybe like sand and whatever bulk materials we have we want to put in there. We can. And as you saw from the outside previously, it's a massive multi-roof, multi-window, kind of crazy looking build, but it turned out really cool. Yeah, I like it. We kind of used the, uh, when I gave the idea to Alex on how we should build this, and we both kind of designed it together, the idea was like the burrow from Harry Potter, and I think it just turned out great with it's a bunch of different builds all kind of mashed into one. Well, now that we've done this, what are we going to do next? Um, I think that's all that we had planned for working in this area. Obviously, off camera, we're going to have to organize our storage and do all of that. Right. Um, but I think we should talk about our little challenge that we have decided upon. Yes. So we need uh, to go get some blackstone for another future build. And uh, obviously, we got to go to the nether, but we're going to make it a bit of a competition. What are we betting? Uh, so we're going to be betting a future item. Uh, we don't yet have it, but the very first netherite ingot that we get will go to the winner of this competition. It's the first ingot, which means we can make a netherite tool or netherite armor if we want to. Correct. Perfect. So that's a that's a pretty big bet, honestly. So we, we really need to come in clutch on that one. I need to win. I need to beat you again on the mining challenge. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, so I guess we should probably clear our inventories, get, get ready, and make our way over to the portal. Yeah, to the nether. Let's go. Ooh, that's such a hard question because Alex and I did a lot of the different designing aspects together. Like he designed a lot of the building shapes or the roofs and I did a lot of the interiors. So I'm gonna go based 100% solely off of the interior. And it's this building that I'm standing in right now. I don't know why, but for some reason, I just love the look of the stone interior, um, especially with the bricks and everything that's kind of going on in here. And then the mixed bulk storage up top it just makes me smile every time I walk in here. My favorite build of all these ones here is probably this wood shop. The wood storage shop right here, the, the log I'm standing on, this crane and everything. It was a really cool one to build. I like how the crane turned out a lot and there's like extra little side entrance over there behind me with the alleyway is, is really cool. And you know, honestly, all I can think about right now is, is going to the nether and not dying again, hopefully. I hope boss doesn't try to kill me. Um, that didn't go too well that one time, so hopefully this time it doesn't happen. So I guess we'll see. 